Hello everybody, Daz is here. One of the quite frequent questions I get surprisingly about the motherboards. People asking me how many fans I can plug into the motherboard uh, fan socket, I can I use multiple fans and um, which models of fans I can plug in and things like this and also a little bit about modding which I will touch a little bit later. Um, I'm not a super expert in motherboard actually, so I, I not always have an answer, but I decided to reach uh, my friends at Gigabyte who support our channel for quite a few years by now and get the answer straight from the horse mouse. And question number one that I get in mother about motherboards is what is the maximum wattage the motherboard can support so the people can decide how many fans they can can put in because basically when you look on any fan model you look on a label and you see how many amps this fans taking from the current and if you mo simply multiply it by 12 that you get your wattage right and so then you can check it against the wattage of whatever power device you use for example as controller fan controller and then you know is it safe or not are you going to burn it so the same type of question i also get asked it's like okay what's the wattage of the header on the motherboard so i know how many uh, fans i can connect it can i put like three fans on a header or two only one and things like this and i like hell i know so again asking gigabyte to help me out they uh, looked into my question and they came straight from engineering and it was confirmed that the maximum current from motherboard hazard is one amp which makes it multiplied by 12 volts it makes it uh, 12 watts power maximum now the another thing you need to keep in mind that even if you have 12 watts of uh, power from your motherboard header, it doesn't mean you need to saturate it to freaking 100 degree, right? So you need to um, maybe go maximum like 80% of power. That's a good rule. And the same, it doesn't matter the motherboard or your fan control. Never try to stretch it to the maximum because nothing works well at the absolutely 100% of capacity. So let's say we have 10 watts and uh, that will be more or less safe recommendation to use to you for driving your fans straight from the motherboard. The exact how many fans will determine your exactly model and I already told you how to do it. Look how many amps, multiply by 12, that's your number. And then you just add this number together and, and see if it double it for two fans and triple for three fans. It's a first grade math and I hope you can do it without me explaining any further. Now, the second question that I also get asked quite often, there's a surprisingly a lot of people who would like to make the following mod with the computer. They want to connect, uh, use LED that usually flashing straight on your front panel from uh, HDT activity, for example, and they want to um, run that la some kind of LED inside of the reservoir or just, or just want to put LED into some other place. So it will be flashing not here, it will be flashing somewhere else. So I get asked what kind of LED you can connect to motherboard IO headers and uh, you don't burn your motherboard and the LED will work. So I asked Gigabyte again and this was number second question that I asked them in the same email and it was confirmed that the volt, um, sorry, voltage coming out of the header is 5 volts, so it's not 12. That makes things a little bit more complicated because most of, most of the uh, LEDs that you can buy on the market, like 5 millimeter or 3 millimeter, the most of them run on 12. And this means that if you only get five volts, then the LED will not be very bright. So I try to demonstrate you how it really works. I will use blue LED for the test uh, because it's a little bit more bright and it gives you a little bit better visibility. Things like orange uh, LEDs will be absolutely dimmest and the red will be medium and let's say green will be also bright. So what I have uh, my dark side 5 millimeter LED in blue um, and um, I also using extension from uh, ear connectors 
uh, and uh, that allows me to you know connect to those micro pins otherwise it's a little bit hard to do so let's uh, just do that so I connected it to the system and um, I'll just put it through those holes right there so look here what will going on and uh, let's power up the computer so it's not connected to anything and just that uh, I wanted to start and uh, when Windows start loading we start see some activity going on through this LED and you get some idea how bright it is and if it's worth any activity so here you go so that's how how much you get this is 12 volt LED working 5 so it, you can see it but it's not very bright I think if you want to modify and put this LED in front of your computer like we had it right here it's actually okay but I, if you will try and you have idea to put it inside of your reservoir I don't think it will work very well because it's too dim so the power is not enough other ways to avoid this limitation you can try to find LEDs that actually works natively at 5 volts and then you can uh, get much brighter uh, result if not the standard LED will give you just as much as you see right here and I don't know if it's good enough for you or not but that's it is what it is I hope that answers those two questions and next time somebody email me about that I just simply point to this video and um, the person can figure it out himself if it's worth to do so and how to connect fans to motherboard again thank you Gigabyte for providing technical information as they also confirm that 5 volt and uh, 1 amp wattage is a standard for any motherboard manufacturer so it's not actually limited to gigabytes or ASUS or whatever you have you will have exactly the same stuff so uh, there are no um, no variation allowed basically between different vendors so it's exactly numbers for everybody on the market okay guys thank you for watching I see you soon with more videos thank you for supporting my channel